thought Tears of the Kingdom engineers had made everything there is to make? Guess again. This is the first walker tank, a fearsome child of ingenuity and mayhem. While this particular model doesn't have any weapons, it wouldn't be hard to just strap some on and call it a day. Is it a little wonky? Sure. But the beauty of engineering is that everything can be optimized, and future versions of this will only improve the design. If you have a house in the sky, or just need to get to a high place in style, then consider using this elevator design. It's simple, safe, and doesn't use much energy. Getting down is a little scary, but all in all, excellent design. Everyone has seen those train rides at carnivals, but have you ever seen one that's weaponized? Welcome to the Hyrulean Express, the first anti Barkoblin tourist attraction. While we're on the topic of fares, I think we can all agree that most are dangerous enough. This engineer doesn't think so, and decided to create the greatest hazard to health and limb in Hyrule. The minecarts are angled in such a way so that Link doesn't get yeeted into the fourth dimension from all the centrifugal force. I'm not entirely certain what's going on here, but it appears that these propellers are turning each other, and will continue to do so forever. Once one starts spinning, it powers the other, and so on. Now if only there was a way to use this for something. Trucks are getting some attention too, but whether or not Link is compensating is up to you to decide. The first look at this build should give you everything you need to know. 1. This builder is a psychopath. 2. They should be banned from ever designing a carnival ride in real life. 've vehicles have come a long way as well. Gone are the days of simple hover bikes, now flying vehicles with the power of A-10s rule the skies. The mechanical bull has also made its own appearance, and I gotta say, I really like the way this was made. Peak chaotic engineering, just the way the game intended. This contraption may seem like it could cause a lot of damage to anything, and that's because it can. Here's to the Kingdom War mechanics are back at it again with the craziest way to cheese a flame gliok. Once it gets back up, simply rinse and repeat until the dragon is defeated.
Watching the setup for this build made me a little bit nervous, but the patience and cunning of this player is inspiring. What's better than a hoverbike? A hoverbike glued to a Korok. Sometimes the best solutions are the most obvious ones. This is, without a doubt, the coolest helicopter design I've seen yet. There are some improvements that need to be made, such as a way to turn and maybe a way to keep it level, but it does look really amazing. Introducing the ultimate depths tank. While getting into the tank can be a little tricky, it's well worth it for when you need to travel in the abyss. One of the best parts is that Link is fully protected from cannon fire. Not only that, but the lasers and cannon don't interfere with each other. Ever wanted to not be able to drive something? Then you'll love this build. No matter what you do to protect yourself, you can't drive it. Sorry. Want to try to get inside? Sorry, can't do that either. So check your not much explanation is needed. This is a 10 out of 10 build. Set for a combat truck. Do you have two Koroks that need to reach their friend? Say less! We have the perfect boat design to help you with all your problems around Koroks forever. 